Hi everyone, today we are going to start building our realistic FPS game project in UE5. We will go one by one and I will explain everything so everyone can keep up with the tutorial easily. If you have any problems or suggestions about the videos, just comment down below. And if you are not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Let's start. Before we start, I just want to say that while making this project, I watched a lot of YouTubers and I've learned a lot of things from them. Especially, a guy called Octahedron helped me a lot, so I just wanted to share his YouTube channel with you guys. You can go watch his videos too. I got the basis of this project from his videos. And also, go check out Jack French's channel. He is the king who solves weapon clipping with an awesome solution. So we are creating a first person project. We are going to use blueprints and starter content will be enabled. We name our project, then hit create. Okay, we are back in editor. In this episode, we will organize our project. Before we start, I recommend you enable autosave on compile by clicking the three dots next to compile and selecting always. So first, let's delete weapon and B has rifle from the first person character. Then let's delete these three useless files. We should remove the mesh and the ABP from our character before deleting them. Now let's delete all starter animations and ABP. Maybe we should delete them one by one to not crash the engine. Last three, two, and one. After we delete them, we should also delete the character mesh. But now, we will just delete the folder and create our own. Delete the FP weapon folder too. We are not going to use the level prototyping folder or the starter content folder, but I am not going to delete them either. So if you want to delete them, you can. Now let's start with inputs. I'm going to delete IMC underscore weapon and mobile controls. Then let's open up the actions folder and start creating our input actions. Right click input input action. IA underscore ADS. IA underscore crouch. IA underscore inspect. IA underscore edit mode, IA underscore reload, and IA underscore sprint. And now we are going to set the triggers for the IAs. IA underscore ADS, pressed and released. IA underscore crouch, pressed and released. IA underscore edit mode, pressed. IA underscore inspect pressed, IA underscore reload pressed, and IA underscore sprint pressed and released. Now let's bind keys to IAs. Shoot left mouse button. Crouch control. Reload R key. ADS, right mouse button. Sprint, left shift. Inspect, F key. And edit mode, left alt. So now we are going to import our character mesh. First, you need to download the file from the link in the description.
Then go into Character and Mesh. Then drag the FBX file to our Character folder in Unreal Engine. By the way, the character we are importing is also using Unreal Engine Skeleton, so you can use animations from UE Marketplace too. After you drag and drop, click Import All. You can close this tab. This is not an important warning. As you can see, this is the character model of the Unreal Engine, and the hierarchy of the bones is the same as with UE's mannequin. And because this is a free character model, we are going to use it in this tutorial. But if you have another one with the UE skeleton, you can keep up with the tutorial with it too. Now let's create the animation blueprint for the character model we've imported. Right click, animation, then animation blueprint. And from the opened window, we should choose SK underscore mannequin arms. And let's name it ABP underscore first person character. Then we drag and drop the animations from the file you've downloaded. After you drop, you should choose SK underscore mannequin arms for the skeleton and click import all. And now we have all our animations in UE. These animations were fully made by me, so they are not perfect. But also, if you want a tutorial for making animations, you can comment down below. Now let's go back to the content folder and create a new folder called audio. And then create another folder called footsteps inside the audio folder. Then drag and drop the audio files from the file I've shared with you. After that, let's create the sound cues. Right click, audio, and sound cue. Walking footstep underscore cue. Jump footstep underscore cue. And land footstep underscore cue. Open these three cues, and after that, Select all the audio that has concrete in its name and drag and drop them into walking footstep underscore Q. Then select these audios, right click and search for random. From the output of random, add a modulator. Lastly, set the volume multiplier to 1.5. Then drag and drop the jump audio to jump footstep underscore Q and add a modulator. And do the same thing for the land audio to land footstep underscore Q. Then you can close these three tabs. We are back in first person BP. First, we are going to add a new scene component and name it FP underscore root. Then we add a spring arm and name it mesh underscore root. Create another scene component and name it offset underscore root. After that, we drag and drop our first person mesh into offset underscore root. Make sure the hierarchy is the same as yours. Now we are going to create another spring arm. Call it cam underscore root and drag and drop our first person camera into it. We are not going to add anything else here. So as I said, make sure the hierarchy is the same as yours. Let's go to our capsule component and set the capsule radius to 36. Then go to fb underscore root and set the location's x value to minus 10, mesh root's z value to 60, and offset root's z value to minus 60. After that, set the first person mesh's location to 0, 0, minus 108.48, and the rotation's z value to minus 90. Then set cam root z value to 60 and clear the first person camera's location. After that, select both spring arms, set the target arm length to 0 and enable use pawn control rotation. Then select mesh underscore root to enable camera rotation lag and set the lag speed to 18. Go back to first person mesh and set the skeletal mesh to the character model we've imported. Then set the animation mode to use animation asset and select fp underscore ps underscore idle for now. 
Then go to character movement. We are going to set gravity to 1.5 to make our character heavier. Acceleration to 3072 for better movement and braking friction factor to 1 for slower braking. Then set the maximum walk speed to 300 as a realistic walking speed. And set jump Z velocity to 400, braking deceleration to 600 and air control to 0.1 again for realistic gameplay. And this is it for today's episode. We organized and set up the basic things for our project. And also we finished the boring parts. In the next video, we will start creating our procedural animations. So goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And if you have anything in mind, just comment down below. Have a good day.